temperatures over the area reached the lower 80s for the second consecutive day yesterday afternoon. It's about 10 degrees warmer than average and even got to the mid 70s in many of our mountain spots. 84 yesterday in North Wilkesboro. You can see temperatures once warmer than they should be. Uh, morning lows got us off to a good start at 56. That's four degrees warmer than normal. Record highs are typically in the 90s, so we were far from that yesterday. If you like the 80s, well, they're going away for a while. In fact, by tomorrow, I, I, it's going to be difficult for temperatures to even get back into the 70s uh, over the next couple of days. Today, we should, uh, with a lack of rain in the forecast, and we do have a bit of a mild start. I think early morning numbers are going to bottom out in the mid 50s before warming up again. So let's focus our attention a bit more on Delta first initially, what it's going to do today, and then what it's going to do down the road for us. We'll see the storm uh, already bringing some good rain bands inland through the Mississippi River Valley. They're expecting uh, was a foot of rain or more in some of these areas. Fortunately for them, the storm is fast moving and should weaken pretty quickly. Uh, and a lot of this rain is going to carry into the mid Atlantic region and the Ohio Valley, but we'll catch some of the southern fringe of this moving forward. It's moving in the north at 12. That puts landfall sometime late this afternoon or early in the evening, uh, likely in uh, western Louisiana very close to Cameron, Louisiana, where Laura came on shore about six weeks ago. We don't have the rain yet. I think we'll introduce the chance for a spotty shower later this evening. Uh, clouds will gradually thicken up today. They're pretty thin now. I actually saw the moon and a, a meteor. The draconid meteor shower is uh, winding down today and did see a flash. Just happened to look up at the right time this morning. So check that out for skies brighten up today and before the clouds get too heavy. But there are plenty of thin spots out and about. I'm going to call it partly sunny for the day, but we'll start to see more clouds developing by this afternoon and certainly later on tonight. And there's that 20% rain chance I have in place uh, for the evening. Similar numbers for the foothills, high near 70. Northeast winds initially turn southeast, and they should be pretty light uh, for most of the day, then heavier clouds developing later on tonight. And there's another uh, chance for an isolated shower in the mountains where temperatures likely won't get out of the 60s this afternoon. So more clouds as the day wears on. Again, I still think some diffused sunshine will begin to pop up. There's our rainfall coverage. It's not all that impressive, but it should begin tonight and we'll have some scattered showers around. This is one of the drier models and this takes the bulk of the storm farther north, but there's enough of rainfall coverage where we should have some intermittent showers Saturday and a better chance uh, for a steadier rain moving in Sunday. It looks like our western counties are going to catch more rain from this. Uh, triad uh, models are a little concerning as far as the low totals here, but with a tropical system coming in, total of a half an inch to an inch are a good bet with more probably one to two inches across our western counties and that's going to be Saturday through Monday. I think this could linger into midday Monday or possibly even into the afternoon. A cold front comes through by midweek and should start to bring temperatures down again.